हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल पाठशाला इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न हाउ टू मैनेज योर मनी यूजिंग द फिफ्टी थर्टी ट्वेंटी रूल वेर डिड द फिफ्टी थर्टी ट्वेंटी रूल कम फ्रॉम दिस रूल ओरिजिनेट्स फ्रॉम द बुक ऑल योर वर्क द अल्टीमेट लाइफ टाइम मनी प्लान रिटर्न बाय एलिजाबेथ वॉरन एंड हर डॉटर एमिलिया वॉरन टैगी This book will help you to manage your money effectively in a simple and sustainable way. Let's see how does the 50 30 20 rule work? This rule simplifies budgeting by dividing your after-tax income into just three spending categories: needs, wants, and savings. 50% are in your needs. Needs are the bills that you must pay and are necessary for survival. Needs include rent, electricity, gas bills, transportation, insurances, loan repayments, and basic groceries. Thirty percent are in your bonds. Bonds are all those little extras you spend money on to make life more enjoyable and entertaining. Bonds include dining out, clothes shopping, holidays, gym membership, entertainment subscription, etc. Twenty percent are in your savings. This include investment to emergency fund, mutual fund, tax saving fund, etc. For example, suppose your income is ten thousand. Segregate your income as per the rule. Step one: allocate your fifty percent income means five thousand rupees for your needs like rent, electricity bills, food, etc. Step two. Allocate the thirty percent means rupees three thousand of your income for bonds. And step three is twenty percent means two thousand towards investing and savings. Suppose Neha and Hena have the same income throughout the year, which is twenty thousand rupees. Hena is using her ten thousand for her needs and ten thousand for her bonds. Her bonds are increasing day by day, so here she is not able to save money. So this will be a problem for Hena. Neha is using her ten thousand for her needs, six thousand for her bonds, and four thousand for her savings. Sticking to fifty thirty twenty rule will be easier to stay on track to reach your financial goals.